First up on the show, a series of massive blasts rocked Beirut's southern suburbs as Israel continued its strikes in Lebanon. Reports claim that slain Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah's presumed successor, Hashim Safedini, uh, was the target of one of these strikes. The Israeli military said it hit targets belonging to Hezbollah's intelligence headquarters in Beirut, while reports cited Israeli sources as saying that Safedini was targeted in the late-night attack. Neither Israeli military nor Hezbollah made any official comment on the claims. Now, the head of Hezbollah's executive, executive council, uh, Safedini, was said to be the most likely candidate to replace Nasrallah, who was killed in Dahir last week. Israel reportedly conducted 11 consecutive strikes on Hezbollah's South Beirut stronghold. The bombardment was intense, that car alarms went off and buildings shook in Beirut uh, and its outskirts as well. Huge explosions could be seen in the area of Beirut's main airport in the early hours of Friday, minutes after the landing of a Middle East Airlines flight. Lebanon's health ministry said at least 37 people were killed and 151 were injured in those Israeli strikes in the past 24 hours, while the Israeli military chief vowed to continue pounding Hezbollah positions across Lebanon, saying the group will not be allowed to settle back in its strongholds. <laughs> we will not allow Hezbollah to settle itself in these places in the future. The severe blows against Hezbollah in all areas, in Beirut, in the Beka Valley, in the South Lebanon, will continue. Now, another development, the idea said that in, it intercepted several incoming projectiles from Lebanon as Hezbollah and Israel continue to trade fire on the border. The Israeli army said its death toll from fighting in southern Lebanon rose to nine after 21-year-old uh, Captain Ben Zion Falach was killed during combat in southern Lebanon. Furthermore, Hezbollah released a video showing its fighters launching salvos of rockets on October 1st at what they claimed was the Gilad base of Israeli military intelligence unit 8200 and the Mossad headquarters located in the outskirts of Tel Aviv. Now, in the West Bank city of Tulkram, at least 18 people were killed in a strike by the Israeli army. The Palestinian Authority run news agency Wafa said that the airstrike hit a cafe in the refugee camp where civilians were present. Now, the Israeli army said that the Air Force conducted the strike in a joint operation with the Shin Bet Internal Security Service. And according to the IDF, Hamas leader Zahi Yasser was killed in that strike. Meanwhile, a second plane carrying about 134 American citizens and their relatives departed Lebanon on Thursday. That's in addition to more than 100 who left on a similar flight on Wednesday. Uh, a second flight uh, departed Beirut this morning with 134 passengers on it, bringing the total number of American citizens and their immediate family members who have departed on these flights to 250. And while we don't know the total number uh, of U.S. citizens who have left via the seats we have made available on commercial flights, we do know that a high percentage of those seats have been filled. Now, Greece also sent a military transport plane to Beirut to evacuate Greek and uh, Cyprus nationals who wanted to leave Lebanon. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.